Hi there to you, Julie and Dina. We're not talking about petty retail thefts here. Those going in shoplifting one shirt or a bottle of soda. These are organized retail theft operations that exist solely to steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise at one time, adding up to millions and sometimes billions of dollars. The Attorney General Kwame Raoul today saying that adds up to $45 billion worth of retail losses every year across the country. Now, we've seen these types of operations in progress before our very eyes with several individuals often going into high-end retail shops, stealing what amounts to tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise at a time. Those items are then handed over to higher-ups in the organization and sold off. We witnessed this most dramatically twice within 30 days last summer. First, they utilized U-Hauls and created staging areas in the downtown loop. Then they used legitimate protests as cover to break into stores and retail corridors throughout the city of Chicago, but also several locations in Illinois. They stole what they were after and they left the stores. They were gone in a very short period of time. And many of those businesses, having been struck twice within 30 days, struggle to recover those losses today. Most people that do retail theft, they're stealing it for themselves on the, on the misdemeanors. But these people, they have online stores, they have actual re, you know, stores, uh, and that triggers another crime that we can charge them with. Uh, they normally don't file the proper uh, sales tax forms or remit the sales tax. Jim Glasgow, though, uh, their Will County State's Attorney saying that with this new cooperation, this task force uh, across the state, they will be able to connect different organizations to the to uh, the same crimes and try to bring those in all in one different larger charge and go after the higher ups of these organizations that will uh, amount to longer prison sentences up to 40, uh, 30 years in prison uh, for the felony crimes, as opposed to what those individuals who go into the stores would normally get, which would be misdemeanor crimes. We'll have much more coming up in our evening shows. For now, we are live in the loop. Sean Lewis, WGN News.